Hello everybody, it's Lady Kayla here and I'm doing my first health vlog and basically Gigi and I are going to do health vlogs to make sure we're getting regular health related videos out to you guys because right now since we're like barely starting we're trying to get more of a schedule going on because like you can see we're covering more issues than just health um, so we decided to make sure we get regular health videos out to you and we're also going to try to figure out um, how we're going to regulate other videos um, so hopefully we get more of a schedule down and basically I think I should start my health vlog with um, my weight and basically I used to weigh like 120 ish and then I like gained weight and I started to hit like a little over 140 and that was in a very short amount of time um, I noticed it because I started not fitting my pants like before I was like one of those people who could eat anything and just sit on my butt and nothing would change nothing would happen and I guess my body started <laughs> slowing down because um, that wasn't happening anymore and so my pants started fitting me really tight and starting to not fit me at all and so I weighed myself and I'm like oh my gosh where did all this weight come from so um, that's what made me decide to start getting healthy um, I never got like overweight and I never got like noticeably heavier or chunkier or chubbier or anything. It just like you couldn't really tell that I gained all that weight. Um, so that's why I didn't notice for a while. And then I realized, look, if I don't start eating healthy now, I'm just going to keep gaining weight. So even though it doesn't look like I gained weight or, you know, you can't tell, um, it's just gonna get worse and you know I don't believe in waiting until it gets worse to finally decide that you need to make some changes so that's where I started to get healthier and then since then I now weigh 130 that's what I weighed this morning and that's my new all-time low um, since I hit like 140 ish so my weight kind of jumps around a little bit however so I won't really say that I'm 130 I'd say I'm like anywhere from like 130 to like 135 just because my weight kind of jumps around a bit um, and um, what I did to get here was just little simple things and um, I will continue to do those so I'll talk about my goals slash what I'm doing and basically I believe in no weight number like I don't have a goal number that I want to weigh um, I'm not expecting to go back to the 120s um, like before like um, low 120s like before um, but I do know what I don't want to hit and I don't want to hit 140 ever again so that's the only number I have is what I don't want to hit so um, I just started making simple choices the first one was to drop soda and as soon as I dropped soda I lost five pounds like that's unhealth that's how unhealthy soda is, is I lost five pounds doing nothing but drop stopping drinking soda and juice um, I drink it every once in a while as like a snack or like to treat myself but for the most part it's just water all day and if I get tired of water then it's tea and I mean like tea out of a bag not the fake sugary preservative tea that they sell um, in the liquor stores or wherever you get your tea um, and um, yeah I lost five pounds without even exercising without even changing my eating habits all I did was drop it and lost weight and so I was like okay that's that that really tells me something um, and then I also decided to eat like three square meals a day um, rather than eating 24 7 like I would just eat whenever I was hungry all day and I don't know I could chow down food like I really really love food and I had like a huge stomach like I could just eat anything um, and I decided that was not going to be um, really a healthy lifestyle so I decided to cut down to three meals a day and I started getting sick because I just cut down my food so much that my body kind of went into I guess not into like a shock where it's like terrible but you know I started feeling like lightheaded and I started losing my appetite and I realized okay maybe I'm eating 
too small of a meals. So I decided I would eat my three square meals a day. Those would be my huge meals, but I would have like healthy snacks in between each meal so I don't like die or anything. So you have to be careful. If you notice you change your eating habits and you start feeling a little sick, um, maybe you change your eating habits too much. So, you know, start adding a little bit to it. Don't make too much of a dramatic change. Um, and that's why I don't believe in like going to cold turkey or whatever when you go on a diet. Sometimes people decide to go on diets and they're just like, okay, I'm cutting out everything unhealthy or I'm cutting out like my eating habits like in half. And it's just like, sometimes that's not exactly healthy for you. Um, it can make you feel kind of sick like it did with me. Um, other times it can just be very discouraging because you're like, okay, my body's craving this, my body needs this, and your body will start telling you that it really wants the food that you cut out, like especially like the junk food. And if you cut it out slowly, instead of going cold turkey, your body gets used to having less and less, and then finally it can get rid of it and not crave it at all. Because now when I drink soda and juice, I don't drink a lot of it because my body says, oh, it's too sweet. Once I have like a certain amount, my body's like, oh, it's too sweet, I can't have too much more. And so my body got used to not wanting it or not craving it as much. So when I drink it, I don't have to drink as much. So I don't believe in like going completely like cold turkey and cutting out everything. Um, so, um, yeah, so I decided to make healthier habits slower um, and to do it kind of progressively. And it's actually worked a lot for me. Um, I will still crave things, but like I said, now that my body's not used, uh, yeah, now that my body's not used to eating it regularly anymore, it doesn't need as much to satisfy the craving, if that makes any sense. Um, a couple roadblocks that I've come across was, um, I forgot, <laughs> um, like, right now it's exercise because I did have like a regular exercise. Um, class that I went to which was Zumba which was three times a week and now they canceled the only class that I could go to which was the Friday class because I don't have school on Fridays and so I was like dang it and then I could still go to Zumba but I would have to be willing to go to school um, right after so that means I can't take a shower or I can't you know get ready or whatever so I would have to decide to just go to school like sweaty and whatnot so um, I'll see if I'm willing to do that I'm sure like my health is more important than what others think about me <laughs> um, so um, another roadblock are my legs because I'm focusing on like toning right now and as you can see I'm like very slim up top but I have like thicker legs and so, um, basically you have to burn the fat before you can see any results from toning. And so fat burning is really, 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 really hard. And I don't know, I've been running, well, I haven't been running lately, but I was running and then I was doing like the squats, lunges, and I was doing like toning exercises and my legs do feel firmer and I can feel that there's muscle underneath. It's just the burning fat part that's really, really hard for me. So, um, that's pretty hard. Um, everything else so far with toning is pretty um, easier. It's not so easy as I'm getting results just like that, um, but it's nice seeing the little changes. And so even like someone who's like slim like me, things don't happen instantly. You do have to work on them and it is hard <laughs> so um yeah and basically um i want my health vlogs to kind of have some tips in them so you guys can um, get some ideas from my experience um, and you can also share your experience through like a video response to do your own health vlogs or you can write in the comments below and basically my tip right now would be a food diary which is basically you just write down the foods that you ate all day and you look up the nutritional value and you can see 
does it have too much sodium, does it have too much sugar, does it have too much fat, does it have too much carbs, it's just you see what it is that you're eating and if you notice that, oh this has too much um, sodium, I should cut back on that food. Um, it helps you kind of realize what's safer to eat and what's better to avoid. So um, there's foods out there that you think that are unhealthy that are actually not as unhealthy as you think so you don't have to limit yourself as much and there's foods that you think are healthy and then you realize there's something crazy about it like maybe the sugar content and you realize okay maybe I should avoid that a little bit more because that's happened to me. I've um, looked up food thinking it was healthy and it like ends up being not so healthy. So um, I actually on a food diary online because I don't think I could write down food in a journal and then go online look it up. I think that would just be too just taking time out of my day. So I found this online website. It was actually um, recommended to me by my friend who really loves um, nutrition. I think she wants to be a nutritionist. Um, and it's called myfitnesspal.com and basically you put in your information, your age, weight, height, and it will tell you how much of what you should be eating a day. However, just because it tells you that doesn't mean you should stick by it because, you know, it might just be too much for your body to handle at the moment. So you could just ignore that. Um, if you do want to stick by it, go ahead. But they do have a food diary option where you just type in the food in the database, click it, and if you can't find exactly what you're looking for, just find the closest thing to it. Or you could write your own nutrition facts for it, like find it online and then add it to the database. But if not, um, just add the closest thing to it. That's what I do. And um, look at the nutrition value. Um, once you add it to your diary, you can click view full report and it will tell you all these different um, nutrition facts about the food that you're eating and you can see um, if it's good to add to your regular diet or if you should be avoiding it. Um, there's other things you could do on myfitnesspal.com that are really really cool so I suggest you check it out. In the description below there will be a link to my profile and you can go from there to make your own account and if you want you can add me which is a really cool feature about myfitnesspal because having people join you and encourage you um, is really 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 helpful it's just terrible to go on a diet or a health plan alone so um, you might want to check that out um, right now uh, thank you for your time I uh, hope you liked my first health vlog if you could help me out by giving me any tips to make this health vlog better I would appreciate it thank you bye